And we are back. Man, we got a fellow blurred in the building. A fellow black effect. Um, I don't, is it alumni or a person that's nah, on the black, black effect? Black effect Illuminati. Hey, I, I still think I got a contract, so I don't think I'm alumni. I'm, I'm uh, Kurt. It's not alumni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We all on contract. Brethren. 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 There you go. A there part of go. the black effect brethren. Yes, yes. Uh, from the uh, hit podcast, Cut to It. We got Gerard Little John in the building. Fellas, co-worker. What up? What up? What up? Yeah, it's, 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 we, we we co-workers, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, wait, wait. Yeah, technically, yeah. No, nah, we business so. partners. It's business partners. Man, man, it's man. Man. it's, it's D, all person. of the above. <laughs> we at the wa- we at the water cooler today. I know, right? <laughs> shout out, shout out, Black Effect, though. All the all yeah, the lovely man. people over there. Yeah, man. I gotta say, man. Like I said, I mean, love the show. Love what you and Steve is doing over there, bro. And man, I, I, hey, this guy right here is a freaking blurred. Every time we got something nerdy, we posting, he in the inbox. What's up? What, yes, what we doing? What we talk about, bro? Every time, bro. Hey, uh, y'all yeah, like family, man. man. Y'all, y'all, y'all like family. I, I, I've, uh, I've hit y'all up. My ex, I talked to you a little yeah. bit. Uh, but for everyone else, for Dre, Eli, Tony, man, like, I'm, I'm a fan, man. Like even when I, when I found out y'all were on the network. Yeah, I, I've been listening to, to be stru- straight up with y'all. Like, yeah, of course, I, mm-hmm. I do sports and, you know, we talk to entertainers. But, like, what y'all be talking about, like, Marvel stuff, DC, man, I'm into all of that. And I always have yeah, been. Man. So, I, I feel like I'm at home. So, yeah, I'm an I'm a honorary trap nerd. But, but, but to be real, that's how I grew up. So, I, I just resonated with it because, like, I grew up in the hood, but also like comic books, right? Like, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I was around the street dudes, but uh, like, I also love Marvel movies. So, it just, yep. it is what like it the is. Like so yep. yeah, yeah, Play like, sports. If, play that's sports. That's, and that's literally the our place stuff. in the Black yeah. Effect. Yeah, we sit yeah. and just talk about all the nerd. Everybody got, like, politics, mm-hmm. stocks and shit, sports. <laughs> we got comics and video games and shit. So, shit, hey, you know, we out here in these man, streets. Listen. We, I, we I the love road, it, man. Niggas. Black black people ain't monolithic, right? We all have different things right. that we like. So that's that's the beauty of it. It's the beauty of the network and it's the beauty of us as people. Mm-hmm. So I mean you said you've been catching up on your shows. I'm not gonna like give you like a I'm not gonna grill you or nothing like that, but you know, uh <laughs> Damn, what what, what, what? you gonna grill him? Before no, before I'm you not. ask him this question, I just want <laughs> yeah, to go ahead. He just he just mentioned that he liked comics, DC, Marvel and stuff. Here it is. You are a DC person or a Marvel person? Which Marvel. one are you? Marvel. Marvel. Oh, yeah. come on, man. Marvel. Comics? Come you, are, you you like Marvel oh, comics better than DC comics? I, it's, it's I thought, easy, we, thought we were man. right. Like, like, when it comes between like thing. comics and movies, it's a difference. Mm-hmm. That's true. No, I'm talking so, about comics here. I mean, if you're talking ahead, about, the, I feel like the the heroes themselves, like, I think you were more familiar coming up with Superman, Batman, Flash. Like, you're used to them. I didn't really know mm-hmm. a lot of the, if I'm being straight up, I didn't know a lot of the Marvel characters until right. the MCU, the universe, the movies. Like, I knew a mm-hmm. little bit, yeah. you know, comic books here and there, but I, I didn't really know, like, all the characters, the whole extended universe. I, I didn't know that stuff. So it is different to what Dre said, to where, like, I feel like the heroes are more recognizable. Like, Batman is Batman, right? Like, Batman's going to be yeah, Batman. Right. right. But yeah. if you ask me, like, movies, like, Marvel movies in DC like that ain't even a damn conversation. <clears throat> of course, everybody know that. It's, that's a ten to one. <laughs> yeah, that's a ten I mean, to yeah, one. yeah. Like that ain't okay. Even a this is like the, this is like the like ladder we've kind of like came to in the green. So let me see if I remember it right. Well, you got that extendo cigarette. What you smoking, honey? <laughs> honey. <laughs> hey, I know how to work on. Hey, it, hey, if your car fuck up, just know I know how to fix it. It's probably your alternator. <laughs> that's, every, that's everybody say. Well, I'm, 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 I'm putting on there for you. Hey, you know what it is? It's your, cal- it's, it's, it's your Cadillac converter. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that ain't but no this, but, but I'm, I'm de- Oh, God. I'm <laughs> dead. But this is like, the, I feel like it's like when it comes to movies, Marvel won off top. Mm-hmm. They yeah. kill but it. then when it comes to comics, I ain't going to lie, like right now, like I've been kind of like catching up. It's been like really stressful. Like Marvel got hella shit going. The minute goddamn Black Panther got a vibranium grill, I died. I was like, <laughs> I was there. Like fuck that, I'm sold. But then like Marvel was low key. They kind of fixing their timeline of everything. Finally, after thirty goddamn years. <laughs> but um, you know, like I'm loving to see that right now. So it's like I ain't gonna lie. Like with me and comics, it's like they kind of. 
they both doing wild shit right now. But animated, like cartoons and wise, DC, I don't care. Like what nobody say, like, DC yeah. one animated. I'm not. Universe, I'm not. I, now that's one part. Like I haven't really like. I ain't really checked out a lot of the the animated stuff yet. Like I know the the Marvel joint, the What If joint. Like it plays into the Doctor mm-hmm. Strange stuff. So I, really, I know like, that, but like up. I ain't really been called. But I do remember like that. Remember that Batman animated series? That joint. Was yes. Dope. Yes. They continued. His son is back. Oh, for mm-hmm. back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, why, yeah, yeah. It's coming back. It's that's why I gotta back. be around my trap nerd family. I gotta, I gotta, like, I, I, I gotta <laughs> have this in my system. Now it's a weird yeah, ass timeline with the animated shit, but it's like when DC tell a cartoon, they finna make that bitch like a movie, mm-hmm. but they can't make their movies like the cartoons, which is why it's At weird. All, it's weird. We we just don't get how they can have such I, good animated movies and, and then no live action. I mean, if you, I, I was just, I was just watching the Judas Contract the other day. Bro, uh, that bitch was it's, chef. Kid, that bitch was nice. It was a beautiful <laughs> freaking. Uh, it's the Teen Titans. No, what? Which one? Judas Contract. Yeah, yeah it's Teen uh, Titans. Yeah, it's Teen, Teen Titans. Titans. Yeah, it's Teen Titans. They basically reimagine it. It's like kind of more serious and a little bit more edgier. And uh, it's on HBO Max. It's called the Judas Contract. But it, it's just like the way that, it was so well written. It's, um, the what oh. they doing with the new Robin with Damian Wayne and and like the new. Teen Titans, like stuff like that, you don't see in the cinematic universe. I'm yeah. like, bro, like, what, what are you doing? And but then you, go, hit. yeah, that's, like they gonna make like even because uh, like here's one of the questions I have for y'all: What do y'all think about that new Batman movie? Like the trailer, I saw the extended trailer. It was in the, it was in. Mm-hmm. The, I like the, in the I like the trailer. I like where we like, I like the where new they trailer, so far. I think, yeah, yeah, I like, I like, I like both of the trailers. I, I like it. Mm-hmm. So I, I wasn't I mean, in there for the Batman, first one. But this Batman ain't in the. He's not in the DC universe, though, right? No, nah, this is a whole separate thing. It's like Joker. They, they, it's like Joker. Yeah, just different. like yeah, just like yeah. Joker. Yeah. Man, what they doing? If I they build, they don't know. I swear to God, <laughs> they don't know. If they, <laughs> they don't know. That, that was the whole problem. Yeah, they that just, was the whole they confused. That was the whole problem with DC from the beginning. They didn't take the time to build a universe like Marvel did. You see, right. Marvel mm-hmm. went movie from movie to the bottom up. They they try to like skip. Straight ahead to the Justice League. You just can't do that, man. They should have the universe here, up. And then, like, they got yeah. Cyborg. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> How did we get here? Right. How did who we get he? here? That and nigga in college? Right. Like, in the comic books and in the in the cartoon world, they, we already know Cyborg had already assimilated to the Justice League. But anybody who's just now watching Justice League, they're going to be like, what the know, fuck? You don't have, yeah, who they, is he? Yeah, who the fuck? Like, for real. Man, like, it's they, a black nigga? <laughs> and then they cut so much of his part out of the freaking movie too. Like he's crazy. Like they could have built not until they did the 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 Snyder cut. Then mm-hmm. they explained it. Then I'm like, oh, it makes sense now. But before they I'm met... like, who the who the flying cat with the with Okay, Ryan, do you jacket? know the backstory <laughs> behind the Snyder cut? I mean, I know a a, a decent amount. Mm-hmm. Like, do you know not like why whole, like whole thing. do you know like why we didn't get the Snyder cut? Uh uh-uh. uh. All right, when it's so all with boom. Son, like he he took a break and I, his I know daughter, like his that. daughter, his daughter committed suicide. I couldn't mm-hmm. remember if it was his son or daughter. Okay, yeah. So it was like you know, like bro, his daughter died. Right. I know we making a movie and all, but literally, that's one of them. All your coworkers understand and with it, but your they boss like take, yep. take a break. Boss Hell time. nah, we need this shit now. So they replaced his ass with another director and we he didn't. switched all this shit up. Yeah, with Whedon. Sorry, ass took every yeah, good part of how that movie. Don't out. give me Sweden. He he sad, a good bro. director for superhero movies. It's just like you can't not, throw not him into mm. like <laughs> yeah. yeah. You he not mm. a gritty superhero like movie director. Yeah. He was not ready for that shit. Speaking of speaking of Marvel, since this is your favorite uh, comic universe, you got any favorite characters or superhero teams for Marvel? I mean, I gotta go Black Panther. Um, that's that's definitely yeah. that's definitely number one. And like I said, I didn't know. I'm just gonna be real. I didn't know much about Black Panther. I knew a little bit, um, understand, but not a but not a whole lot. But once the movie came out, man, like it just it resonates so much. I got a Black Panther painting upstairs mm-hmm. in my man cave. I got a Black Panther tattoo. I got a Black <laughs> Panther clothes. My my daughter was Shuri for Halloween. Oh, that's uh, so we I'm just done. we my my son got Black Panther toys. My daughter got Black Panther pajamas. Like we. Are all about it. Um, so for show sure, Black Panther, I say after that, man, like um, I was definitely big on Iron Man, but uh, I Iron probably man. right at, right after right after Black Panther, though I say Batman. Like Batman, 
Batman was definitely like growing Bat up. Mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Batman was like that dude, man. Like mine. Batman, mm-hmm. it's like mine. I, Batman, <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that. Don't swear, Terrence hey, Howard. Nigga. I'm sorry, the whole, this was, whole interview. I'm sorry, I was, uh, if, if, I'm calling the rule, y'all. Hey, anybody with man at the end, we call him Mike. Mike. But uh, but <laughs> no, nah, man. So I, Bat, Batman, right up after that. So Black Panther, Batman. Um, after that, it's like what, whatever. Spider Man's up there too, but uh, mm-hmm. but definitely Black Panther, man. With, 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 without a yeah, doubt, cause hands I, down. I remember. I remember my first time hearing about my first time seeing Black Panther was in X Men in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, because she because he was married oh, to Storm. That was, that's that was, right, that was that the that's cartoon. Yeah, yeah, so that's the first time I ever seen Black Panther back in the day. I see. I really didn't get into Black Panther until like I was into my twenties. So, uh, which one was it? It was uh the the Black Panther cartoon that they had on BET. Mm-hmm. No, you know, funny yeah. shit. That lasted for like two time. seasons. That was my first time. Too. That was and my he first fought time Captain getting into Captain America him. the first time yeah. and shit, but yeah. it was it it went to Chala. It was his daddy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Right. So that that was, so I'm kind of I was kind of new to it. So there ain't no judgment on, on that one at Man. all. But yeah, it was like you know we we millennials. We kind of caught like you know Black Panther was in the seventies, but then you know he got cool as fuck in our era type shit. Yeah. yeah Disney so wasn't really using the, them that much for the for the culture, man. You got to go Black Panther. Yeah. yeah. True. He got a vibranium grill, son. Like he's slow. And, when you re- and then that's vibranium. the other part. When you realize, like, all right, we all we all know Bruce Wayne had money. Then we're like, oh, mm-hmm. all right, Tony Stark got money. Man, <laughs> the money different in Wakanda. You ain't got <laughs> Wakanda money, you son. Ain't got- right. <laughs> like, remember, they they like, here's something uh-huh. people didn't even catch up. Like, I was watching Black Panther for like the millionth time the other night. Like, anytime it come on, my daughter like, hey, Black Panther on, so we go watch it. Right. If you remember when Shuri was first showing him the suit, and she was like, you remember that little low budget or that little, um, uh, she said something about Back to the Future. It's like, the Back to the Future money got nothing mm-hmm. on Wakanda. Like, if you, I was mm-hmm. like, man, I never really caught that when Shuri was like, yeah, that little low budget pretend, and she's talking about Back to the Future when she was talking about yeah. the shoes. The but most yeah, Wakanda flakes ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like it was so crazy because they they even tried to like they put it to numbers like who's the richest. They put Tony Stark, Batman, and they put Black Panther. And he had like a, a like a huge amount of money, I think, in the trillions. But like, I was like, that's not even his net worth. He really don't have a net worth. That nigga. That's like right. if you got filthy, stinking rich. That's <laughs> like if your country out. got the most oil in the world, you won. It's like no matter what, you won. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And they made that. They weren't even sharing they they resources with the world. And they were still rich, right? And now they now they gonna start sharing it with the world. Like just imagine. <laughs> Who knows how to convert vibranium? Like what is this? Like, what's the conversion rate on that? <laughs> Jeff Bezos would go broke trying to convert vibranium. So right. like low key, For real. like he could he uh, could go Bezos, to space and shit. But when it comes to vibranium, be, Bezos was already be in space if it was really vibranium. Mm-hmm. And then he's still gonna have to look at vibranium. Like, uh... speaking of space, have y'all seen that? Uh, Don't look up on Netflix. Did y'all see that? Can I somebody can somebody give me like a quick like? What the fuck is that? Like, it's, it's, like it's, it's basically the coronavirus stuff. It's it's it's, yeah. it's the same you thing. Gotta see it. It's basically this movie Leonardo DiCaprio, the chick from uh from Hunger Games. I can't think of her name, but Jennifer it's Lawrence. the two of them. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence. Thank you. So okay. it's the two it's the two of them and right. they're both scientists and they see where this comet is about to come and hit planet Earth. And so they're trying to let people know and it's basically it is it's parallel in real life to where yep. you can contrast like like he said, coronavirus stuff and how people mm-hmm. are on one side of the fence or another. And so some people get on I don't want to get a whole movie away because it's actually a, a dope movie. But some people are on one side and believe one thing, other people are on another side and I believe another thing. But it's actually a dope movie. Like, definitely, you got to see it. It'll have your mind turning about like what's really going on, climate change. It's a dope movie. Mm-hmm. It's like things that people don't pay attention to that that, that we being controlled by the rich people. And that, and I like that. I'm hearing like from what I'm hearing about the movie, and it's like the rich people in that movie is is showing like how they control shit and how they make people think a certain way and put I mean, us to against an, each other. To a, not to really, a, to not an extent, really. To an, I would say not to really. an extent, it's, it's really more, it, it, there's, there's, it's, it's, some, it's some politics in it, but it's yeah, definitely it's more, more of a, it's a satire movie about, mm-hmm. to, what, to what Eli said, like to kind of what's yeah. going on with Corona. It's like it's when, 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 when people, when people see stuff happening and, it, and 
The name of the movie gives away. Don't look up. It do. Just That's why I, like, I don't really want to give up too much <laughs> stuff because like it'll give away part of the movie. Yeah. But you definitely got to see it. Yeah, it's really cool. Either yeah. way, birds are real. Birds aren't real, bro. Stop was, saying that shit. We was talking to you before the show, <laughs> and you was telling us you saw Spider Man No Way Home. Yeah. What did you think of that movie, man? What did you think of it? Yeah, give us, give us, give us the cut to a Gerard Little John review of what you thought about. So, man, it it had got hyped up, and I'm not saying this is bad. Like, I think it's one of the best Marvel mm-hmm. movies ever. But I had some people saying, man, it was the best Marvel movie of all time. I'm like, pump the break, bro. Like, like top five. <laughs> Top five easy. I'll give it top yeah. five. Yeah, top five easy. It, it ain't better than Infinity War. It's not better yeah, than Endgame. I probably yeah. enjoy Black Panther more, but it was good, right? But right. man, I thought it was really, I thought it was really cool. I, I love how they played in all the different. I, I guess spoiler alert, right? If you listen to this, you shit out of luck. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it's too late. We already did all. <laughs> right, it's too late. We already did all. Late. Y'all right. had y'all time by now, cuz. <laughs> right. So um. So no, overall, man, I thought it was cool how they played in all the different Spider Mans. Cause I started seeing it going down that route. Like, wait a minute, I remember this joke, this joint from the old Spider Man. Then I'm like, Jamie Fox. I'm like, man, this, this dude was in the other movie. Like, where are they, where are they going with this? Then I'm like, oh, but I think they're gonna bring these Spider Mans back. So as soon as mm-hmm. old buddy opened up with the with with, with Wong's thing or or uh, excuse me, uh, uh, Doctor Strange's thing, I'm like, all right, yeah, they about to bring the other Spider Man in. So it was cool. I thought I thought it was really well written. Um, Nice. But also, like, I got questions now about, like, all right, so now nobody remembers who Spider-Man is, right? So you just telling me, like, when we was in Infinity War and we was all, like, trying to chase after Oh, no, no, Thanos. no, no. Like, how they, does this, they, how rem- does this they remember who Spider-Man is. Nobody they remembers Peter key. Parker. Okay. Yes, nobody knows Peter Parker at all. They just know Spider-Man now. Hey, That's Spider-Man it. was throwing so the lines, Str- but shit, what the fuck he went after that? So when Doctor Strange, <laughs> yeah. like, when it was Doctor Strange and Iron Man and they were, like, so he don't remember none of that stuff now. Nobody they, he remember they were they, they just, just remember Spider Man. It's just Spider Man. No, yeah, no, they, they don't remember Peter, Peter Parker. Mm-hmm. No, nope. they, they don't know that. They don't know it's a high like, school under the mask, which is not too weird because he's always been good about keeping his identity away from people, and that's just another way. So, to so get, all that to Tony um, was and Tony was the only one actually was able to figure out who he was. Mm-hmm. So what about Happy? And so Happy gone. been around him that whole time. So how 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 do you explain that? Nope, he don't, you know, he don't exist to none of them no more. He, at all. He, yeah, Peter so, Parker is basically so, like erased from existence. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. it's like if you knew him like just regular Peter Parker, gone. That's the only part I can't wrap my mind around. So you just telling me like so all the all that time when, when Happy was in the basement and sleep with the CPAP machine, he don't remember nothing. Gone. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. Where nobody all of it gone. All of it gone. All of it did gone. You, did you have any did you have any <laughs> favorite characters from the movie? Um I did. I mean, I just thought it was dope seeing all the Spider Mans interact, like at the end. Like yeah, that, yeah. that was that was really cool. Um, you know, Aunt Maiden died. I mean, dang, she was <laughs> a dumbass. <laughs> why you gotta be? Why she gotta be? She dumb. It, it was over dumb with. Ass, bro. She the one. She the one who tell him to save people. It was over with. It was her fault, right? Like all she had to <laughs> That's her like, baby. Spider Man is a freaking, basically a super soldier. He fought up against Thanos, and he got his ass beat by Green Goblin. Why are you trying to go over there and try and fight Green Goblin too? That's her uh, baby. Not, like, man, yeah, like movie, Dre said. That that movie movie been... Hey, Green Goblin was just like unnecessarily throwing like straight. He was Kimbo man, he slicing beat his ass the whole too, like, <laughs> movie. <laughs> like beat him down. Like, like sit down. We could have had this thing figured out. All he had to do was press the button and we would have been out of here in 20 minutes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. No, I'm saying. <laughs> oh, got in that standpoint, it was, it was done. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. But I mean, uh, so we did, um, we did a vote. Like, have you? Were you able to see Chang Chi yet? Oh yeah, yeah, Shang-Chi. yeah, yeah. Yeah, now, that I, might be they, top they, five too. That might be top five. Yeah, yeah. I give it top five. They they put it over Spider Man, but I, I think I put. Spider-Man I agree. Well, I agree. Yeah. Me, and, me and Tony both over yeah, Spider Man. Yeah. Really? I I, yeah. Huh, I don't know. I'll put Spider Man like, over it. Chang Chi was dope, dope man. Yeah. I, and I went mm-hmm. into that movie with no expectations. I think we watched that around like Thanksgiving break. I went into it with no all expectations. Right. Like, all right, I'm just going to see what it's about. Like, that junk was dope. Like, the, the action the action that, in Shang Chi was just good. So good. Right. Man. It was just the action scenes and the fighting was just dope. And and then the whole yeah, storyline to see, like, you know, with his pop and all that, man. Yeah, that might be top five. 
Mm -hmm. It had the same thing. It had the same thing. Black Panther had had good world builder and the villain. Yeah. You could kind of you could get on the same level as the villain. So it kind of I told y'all Chang Chi. Chang Chi is Black Panther for Chinese people. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Chinese American people, not <laughs> actual Chinese. Right? People. You trying that's to get all, canceled? They fit in You're somewhere, somewhere in there. <laughs> there I, so I we, was about to. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this too on Spider Man. Who's your favorite Spider Man out of those three? Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. oh probably the I mean it's hard to say I probably like the, the most recent Peter Parker but he kind of cheat code because he got all that Tony Stark shit so <laughs> it's kind of tough what it's like I mean I can be Spider-Man if I got all the Tony Stark equipment like, I got the glasses <laughs> That's why they yeah, had. To, I, that's right, why they had to strip everything from him in this movie. They had to strip everything from him. You want me to kill everybody? Shoot, you can't get that to me. Yeah, take out all of them. Over there. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got a neighbor. I've been ready. To <laughs> so absolute uh, power does corrupt, and it will corrupt me because I will be in charge of the whole country if I had all that power. Right. <laughs> I'll be a freaking man, dictator. And again, it goes back to Aunt May. Man, you know Peter could have still had all of Tony Stark's stuff right now. Man, mm -hmm. man, I'd have been up in there. <laughs> Trying on everything. I would be wearing Tony suits and everything. <laughs> like I know that's your shit with the little. I'll be right. making shit with the fabricator. <laughs> just right. Just ain't, random shit. ain't gonna need these Gucci shoes no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. One more. Oh, all right. So moving away from the Marvel talk. Right. Uh Snowfall. Now, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> now we had some conversations about this show. And yeah. they just announced season two coming up in February twenty second. Two, that's it's three, ain't it? It's three. Season four, season oh, four. four, three or four, four yeah. in February, yeah, in uh, February twenty second. So, man, what what did you think of the last season, bro? Like, we got to have a little conversation. What did you oh, think man, season? I mean, first off, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think about what happened, right? I mean, mm -hmm. here's the question: is is the is the daddy dead? That's the that's that's the first thing I think about, right? Because remember, old buddy mm -hmm. went down there to uh oh, yeah. to shoot him. Like, is 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 that it, man? But man, it's gonna be interesting. You know, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, um, oh shoot, man, why can't I think of why can't I think of the main character name right now? Franklin. Um, Franklin. Like now all yeah. of a sudden, like he didn't have people leave him. His uncle done left him. His cousin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's gonna just be interesting to pro. see. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah, uh, Jerome. It's gonna be interesting mm -hmm. to see like, can he? Was it really Franklin or was it Franklin's team around him? And I love that. I love how well written that show is because mm -hmm. if you really think about it, like Franklin is Franklin because of people around him. But at the same time, I think he had the, he had the feeling that he had to almost put everybody on his back, which he, which he did to an extent. Yeah. But it's also like, man, his uncle rolled with him, his his cousin rolled with him, like, and so it's just peaches, you know, like every everybody, yeah. and so it's just gonna be interesting to see, man, like, is it was it is it Franklin or is it the t is it Franklin and how he inspires his team, man? So, man, I'm excited, man. I love that show, like that's definitely yeah. that's definitely a, a top one. All right, y'all watch The Wire. I've had this debate with other people. Baku Why, has the wire? wire. I think I haven't Baku, seen The Wire. Yeah, I think Eli yeah. watches it. I'm the only one who watched The Wire, I think. Damn, <laughs> man, y'all disappointed me a little bit. Like, I was going to say Snowfall or The Wire in terms of... The Wire. Like, it's, it's not even close to me. Man, listen. The Wire the is wire, an all-time great show. That's, all wire, time. That's on my top five all time. The Wire is yeah. different. Like, this is a really, really good written show. Like, this is a, it's a good show. Like, they've, they've established these different characters. Like, you see how everything intertwines. For a while, I was, I was struggling with that first season of Snowfall because I'm like, all right, you got... This story over here with the Fed dude. You got this story mm -hmm. over here with the with the uh, Latino man and woman, and then you got Franklin on the street level. But then everything starts to intersect. I'm like, oh, now I see. Mm -hmm. Now I see what it's about. But um, now, nah, man, I, I, the, the wire was just different. The wire was different. See, the, the reason way. why the wire is a top show to me is like Game of Thrones, something because it is like when Game a of show can make you hate a character so much. <laughs> when it can it can make a, it can make you hate, hate a character so much. That's how you know it's a good show because. I still look at Idris Elba with a side eye to this day, man. Was, and, I was gonna say, like, <laughs> and it's even, it is kind of like Game of Thrones to where, like, they would rotate out, like, yeah. I don't want to say the new villain, but, like, with Wire, like, for a little bit, it was Stringer Bell. Then for a mm -hmm. then after Stringer Bell, it was, um, it was, you always had Omar, but then you had Marlo. And so it always would rotate over, but that's, 
that's how it also is in the streets too, man. Like if someone dropped down, right. someone else picks back up. And another one of the shows that people think is the greatest of all time that I think it's kind of overrated that I watched. I was on it from the beginning, uh, but Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is not overrated. It's not uh, overrated. I love overrated. it. It's just overrated no, to me. No, it's not, no. Overrated. It's overrated. No. It's not overrated. Breaking Bad is overrated. It's yeah, just overrated. You, you, you're not. You're not. I, I, I've watched. I, 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 we watched The Wire three times now. I haven't rewatched <coughs> Breaking Bad not once. I just like, rewatched Breaking a, Bad three times. That no season two of Wire, like. It was necessary, but it was definitely born. There was you talk the politics a, season, yeah. It was, no, it was, not the politics was, season. No, the oh, politics okay. season was actually kind of good. I'm talking about. I didn't the, like the, the politics with, season. I'm talking about the one with the ports when it was all the oh, when all the. Oh, all the, okay, okay, okay. That's okay. season two. That was that slow too. Was, that was slow. Oh man, that, that was, was real slow. The politics, they like all of them, are necessary because you see how everything weighs into a whole city and how like what the what they how it is in real life, what goes on in the courtroom affects what goes on in the streets. What goes on the streets affects yeah. what these political agendas are. It, it like it parallels real life so much, but that they all necessary. But nah, it was yes. never a bad season of Breaking Bad, bro. Well, I, I can't yeah. I can't co sign that. I, yeah, bro. I, I, I mean Al Camino, I, I didn't say it was bad. I was just, it was just overrated to me. It, El Pollo Loco? like it was the greatest show ever. Uh, Al Camino wasn't it's good okay. though. The the movie they did with uh, uh what's his name on oh, Netflix. That was, that yeah, was trash. It was, I, I it, it was terrible. Yeah, yeah. Better Call Saul is lit though. Better Call Saul is real good, bro. I ain't even. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't oh, watched man. that yet either. It's, oh, it's kind of slow it's so too, good. though. It's kind of slow it's at the slow. beginning. It, it started it's slow, good. and I didn't. I didn't. I didn't stick mm-hmm. with it. Yeah, well, yeah. that now uh, Gustav is about to come come in. They they're actually showing how uh how Saul. They'll pull your local cat. Yeah, they about they showing how his relationship started with him and the cartel and everything. So, and it's, it's good. It's good. like second season. They they're about to release the third season. I think sometime in the spring. The second season, it really starts to unfold. I didn't know that show was still going. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. Right. I just caught like, it on yeah, Netflix. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, like it's that good. Like mm-hmm. it's one of those like you don't really. It's it's low on the radar, but it's consistent. And Lavelle Crawford in there. Shout out to Lavelle Crawford. Grammy, yeah, man. Well, what are some shows you're watching right now that you'd recommend? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, on my own, I'm I'm starting to catch up on Cobra Kai, so that that's been oh, that's yeah. been pretty cool. Y'all watch that? <laughs> no, I, I do, don't yeah. watch Cobra. I've been I been hearing a lot about. I'm about to start binge watching. Like I was like, he laughed. He was like, I was like, hey, shout out to Lil. I don't know too many people who recommend Cobra Kai, but I, I might get I recommend it. Out of it. What? <laughs> no, I've been knowing a lot of people talking about Cobra Kai. Man, like you don't never. Like you ain't watched Karate Kid back in the day? Oh yeah, I watched Karate Kid. Of course. Mm-hmm. Oh well, you gonna love it. It's it's it's, all, it's rehashing uh, Karate Kid, and again, I ain't gonna get that away. But like it's if you remember the Cobra Kai from back in the day, like the Cobra Kai, like they will come and they whoop your ass. Like it's mm-hmm. it, they all bring time. it back, but then they then they flip it over. So I'm watching that right now. Um, gosh, let's see what am I? What else am I watching? Man, I do a whole lot of TV, man. By the time I'm, man, I'm washed up, to be honest with y'all. Like, I, by the time mm-hmm. I get kids down and we be ripping and running and basketball practice and all that stuff, by the time I get home, I'm, I don't turn on sports and I'm, and I'm asleep. So, oh, I, I, I ain't got kids. I barely have time to, to get to watch TV. I have to set aside time for it now. So, I mean, that's understandable. Yeah. Yeah. I watch too. I come back from playing basketball at the gym. Then I go to bed like at 10 o'clock. I at was, night. Um, what I gotta catch up on, man. One of my one of my favorite shows of all time. I don't know if y'all watch it. Hopefully y'all do. But the last couple seasons been whack. But Walking Dead, like I love Walking Dead. Overall. Oh yeah, I, I dropped. But the it. last the couple seasons, I love that have show. Been trash. At the beginning, I love that show. I stopped after they um, finally took down Negan, and you do Hell, make the was, guns explode. That's that the last. Was four, that's, that's, it was four seasons of Negan, and two of them was we didn't need. <laughs> Like so, uh, I, I love Walking Dead. I got to catch up on that. I, I was mm-hmm. I was a big fan of it. To your point, like right around those Negan years, like they just went, they went, they, they got dry. They went way too long. Then they mm-hmm. then they came in. They brought the whispers in, and that was like, right. and then that took too long. I'm like, man, they ought to waste mm-hmm. about five six seasons when we could have had this bad boy wrapped up. Yeah, the Raiders. Yeah. The Raiders was still high on that show too. Everybody was still watching that show too. So now they on the so now they on the last season. I haven't. I've watched like two episodes. And, I ain't even been back. Now all of a sudden, like, I ain't gonna spoil it for you, but yeah, it's they. I'm, they not, I'm probably that not gonna too. watch it. You're not gonna spoil it. <laughs> well, Negan now Neg- Negan's a good guy. So Negan, oh, they, really? they, they took him out of jail, and now he's basically <laughs> trying to like help them, and they're still trying to find Rick and administrate. See, I'm out already. Once you say Negan a good guy, now I'm out. 
Yeah, he basically. They love they, yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah, they basically, he basically, man, Negan had, man, hell, hell, Negan had time served. He on parole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the producer, like the writers and stuff, the fans, they fell in love with Negan so much they didn't want to take him off the show. So Negan that's was part, that's dope, part of the reason why he stayed. Yeah, he, he, when he came governor. out. Yeah, I like, but I like the governor better. But like Negan was dope. But the governor, he was. He I was mean, in terms of dude. yeah, in terms of like the chaos that he caused. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. love the fans, but then also, man, when when Negan beat uh your boy what's a blend and uh um, i was happy to see that because i didn't like Glenn. <laughs> oh my god man he beat it i did not like glenn and maggie i did not like glenn and maggie why is you doing oh, all that like, shit and like, like, bro, like, like bro she gone she gone bro she gonna come back she gonna come back stop doing all that crazy shit that figure, like because he started like just going off the rip just started like uh him, him and maggie was doing the same thing like they was looking for each other they didn't care about anything else but finding each other and that in turn, like I'm like, bro, why y'all being so selfish? It's the freaking zombie apocalypse, like, bro. Like, man, fuck. like, you don't never know when you're gonna be able to roll up on something and and, <laughs> and with zombie. So I guess you know, once you find a piece, you gotta keep it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I was. I, is it? This isn't like your Tom Holland and Zendaya thing, is it? That was a joke. I, I was. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think they really. But it is like my either. Superman and Lois Lane. I thought they were. They they are. They are. I just don't feel like it's it's, it's real. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're Fabricated just doing it for, for the, the movie. movie. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yep. Yeah, I, that's, that's how I feel about Superman and Lois Lane. Fake. Just so fake. Well, it's the <laughs> fakest stuff ever, man. That's <laughs> different. <laughs> it's, it's, that it's shit just, personal as hell. I hate them. Lane. Right. I, but before before we move on, I just want to get this quick thing. I I'll, I'll be kicking myself. If I ain't talk about sports real quick. Who yeah. you got? Who you got winning the Super Bowl? Oh, that shit. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go right now. Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers has been on a fucking tear. Aaron's all on the tear. season. Aaron, Man, Aaron's right. good. You know he the king of getting to the NFC Championship game and losing. You know yeah, the king. Sure. <laughs> you know, you know the he king of doing it. He, he need one more, right? You got to think it's probably his last season with Green Bay. Um, you know, the offense is hitting on on what they need to. They they got their receivers healthy. Devontae Adams, like, there ain't a cat who can cover Devontae. Um, mm-hmm. The defense is starting to come around, too. So, right now, I'm going to have to say Green Bay. They used to play in the cold. You know, once you get around the playoff time, you know, when, when you have uh, outdoor weather, they're able to play in it. So, I, I'm going to say Green Bay right now. They're looking really good. I, I hope so. To, if, my, if my Cowboys don't make it, I hope it's like Green Bay and Kansas City. The Cowboys so quarterback win shootout one Super Bowl man. this I, this decade. Man, I love that. Um, the Cowboys was my team before we had the Panthers here in Charlotte. So I'm I'm a big Dak fan. Um, but you you just you just don't know, man. Like Cowboys are the Cowboys. They, they too yeah. are, the, the Cowboys going Cowboy. You know. <laughs> I want to see him do well, though. And hopefully, you know, this defense, uh, Parsons, Diggs, they've been playing out their mind. If you can get the running game going in the playoffs for sure. Like, it's hard. If you can run the ball in the playoffs, it's hard to beat a team. So, if they can get Zeke going, Dak mm-hmm. plays, Gallup being hurt, that's going to hurt a little bit. But I like the Cowboys, too. It, just, it I really feel like this playoff, it's going to crap shoot, right? Like, who saw yeah. who yeah. saw Tennessee still being good, right? Like, there, yeah. here he goes, yeah. down. They still winning games. They might be the they the one seed, right? So yeah, they got a chance mm-hmm. at one seed. Yep. Who knows? Kansas City. They look like crap for four games. Now all of a sudden, they getting they act to get they they not playing. They get everything together. So mm-hmm. you know they got a shot. I really feel like this this playoff is wide open. Like I'm saying, Green Bay, but it could be the I Cowboys. Still... It could be Tennessee. It could be it could be Kansas City. Uh, not to be on the fence, but it, it's man, it's the NFL any given sure. Sunday. I still think Tom Brady gonna surprise us with another win, bro. I, I he could. Like, he could. I feel it, like that's gonna happen, bro. All the teams are pretty even this year. He could. He yeah, could. Hey, but it's Tom Brady. He's like he shouldn't be even at this Pink. point in his life. Man, but listen, he's still he's, just as good. Ain't no just as good. He's still great, right? Yeah. And I mean, AB being gone, yard they've already done. What you think been, about he's been that? Been gone. Godwin going, being gone, like. They, that's, that still hurts their receiving core too. Mm-hmm. Now, what you think about AB though? What what, what he doing? Like what he they saying that is because he was trying to. I heard two different stories. From what he's saying is the ankle is the, his ankle was messed up. They trying to make a play, but I heard that they took they benched him 
because he's supposed to get like a three hundred thousand dollar bonus. And nah, that's, that's not it. That's not it's true. Two, the two stories that's going on is that his ankle. He didn't want to go in because ankle, and another one because he got into an argument on the sideline about getting the ball, and he was mad about that. So it's two different stories going mm-hmm. on. So, right now. Mm-hmm. and I haven't really been able to catch up. I I, I deleted social media off my phone, so I, I haven't been able to really <laughs> catch up like that. But to to Eli's point, like I guess Arians did say something about, you know, whatever confrontation happened on the sidelines. And then AB has admitted there was – so there was some sort of confrontation, right? Yeah. It's always going to be he said, she said. You never – you know, none of us are really going to understand what happens. What I do want to happen is, like, you know, I wish the best for AB. I hope that, you know, he's yeah. able to, one, get healthy, and then, two, land wherever he wants to land or do whatever he wants to do. Like, I know the brother raps. The, 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 the brother is an amazing wide receiver. So whatever happens, you know, I, I want the best for him. So, mm-hmm. uh, but regardless, like, he is going to be missed in that offense. That's just that's just facts, right? Like, yeah. like when AB is on, AB does AB things. So mm-hmm. losing him, like I said, losing Godwin, I mean, that's going to hurt. But man, when you got the equalizer, Tom Brady, it don't even matter. <laughs> right. I got it don't one more. I got matter. one. I got one more for you. Do you like the Do you like the extra team added to the playoffs? Do you like the seventh team? I I do because of kind of what we're talking about. It's just one more layer of you just never know what can happen. Like when pe- once people go into the playoffs, all bets are off. Like the seeding, home games do matter. But we, I mean, we see it. Like man, the the Jets in contention with the Buccaneers. Mm-hmm. So crazy. It, it doesn't – like, once you get to playoffs, when you get to playoff Saturdays, playoff Sundays, man, all the records go out the window. So, I like it only for – man, I'm a I'm just a big fan of organized chaos. Like, even going back to, to college football, man, I wanted I wanted um, Cincinnati to get in. I wanted, like, some of the, the underdog teams to get in. Now, they ended up getting smoked anyway, but at the end of the day, like, I want to – I always want to see – the non-conventional matchups. I always want to see, like, because you just never know. As long as a team got a chance, you can you can see an underdog take over a highly ranked team, or you can see an underdog take over a number one seed or a number two seed. So, man, I just love seeing that. Oh, yeah. Well, shoot, man. I, I, all I know is I can't wait. The playoffs going to be, the, like, fucking, like, really interesting. Got a lot of good teams going in. Like, like even – just down to it with the teams that wasn't that good this season. Them going into the playoffs, like, you know they're going to turn into murderers. Like you said, yeah. it's the only thing that matters is the playoffs right now. I can't but you got and you And you got, a, you, got a, you got a lot of teams that are starting to – like, you got – man, the Rams are looking good, man. You got, like mm-hmm. – man, it could go so many different ways. I'm, I'm excited for this year. Like, you know, typically it's, it's been like, all right, you kind of know that, all right, you know, you knew New England was going to steamroll through it, right? Like, we, we mm-hmm. knew – Kind of that, but now it's like wide open, and and I'm talking about old New England when when they had Brady, but even now you got mm-hmm. New England they in the mix, right? So, mm-hmm. man, who know? Like this one is going to be so wide open, which makes it just for good games. <laughs> well, we got well, we got to cut things off. We come to the end of this incredible sit down interview with you, Gerard. Um, oh, man, I said your name so country, bro. I said it so. That's country, that's like. it. Hey man, listen. <laughs> To be honest with you, I still be I still be putting on when it comes to like <laughs> interviews and stuff. I try my best to not let the, uh-huh. the North Carolina come out, but man, it's in the. I mean, I can oh. I can really when when people come home like when you when you go to so I grew up outside of Charlotte, so Charlotte of course the biggest city in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. I grew up about an hour north in this this town called Lexington, so it's a little bit more rural, but mm-hmm. country. And so like yeah, <laughs> like so that's what I'm saying. Like I feel at home. Y'all from y'all got the Louisiana accents and, and, and I'm from North Carolina, so man, listen, mm-hmm. you get me you get me home and where well, you can be yeah. yourself. You get you get me home and you get me some uh well you know, we we sponsored by Miller Lights, so you give me get a few hey. Miller Lights and it it, it change. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, man, it was good sitting down with you, it's good talking to you, bro, finally. And of That's course right. we gotta do this again. I was, I was about to say, man, don't don't have me as no like little one time guest, man. Like I'm, oh, I'm, no, I'm, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm extended fam. I'm trap nerd's cousin. Actually, <laughs> if you if Catch that me leak, <laughs> you use that same leak anytime you want to pop in and just All randomly. Right. We right. told Josh Justin the same do. thing. <laughs> just same, randomly. Hey, facts. All right, next time movies come out, like I'm, I'm coming on here. We gonna we gonna review some stuff. Oh yeah, for sure, oh, bro. Uh, before, before we let so, you go, can you can you tell us? 
about your podcast and where to find your podcast and stuff for like sure that. man no i appreciate that now cut to it podcast is myself it's my brother steve smith um of course you know nfl great for the carolina panthers the baltimore ravens you can find us of course on black effect on iHeartRadio. radio what we do is we interview uh athletes entertainers celebrities we've interviewed people from michael vick to uh jerome bettis to Mr. Cheeks from the Lost Boys to I love uh, the Jerome Bettis one because yeah uh, man when I played Pee Wee football I had his number I was number sixty one they called me uh, Jerome Bettis when I was a little kid when I played Pee Wee football so I, I like that episode I really I dove you, into that one you was out there trucking cats too wasn't you I sure was <laughs> <laughs> See, sure that's was why, that's why that's why they had the, that's why they that's that's why it is what it is right now because you uh-huh. but. But no, man, um, but yeah, we've, we've interviewed all kinds of people, man, and, and we will continue to do it. And we just try to get to the real. We try to we try to cut to it. We try to ask the questions that no one else wants to ask. Uh, mm-hmm. We've had Anthony Hamilton on. He did a theme song for us. So, man, we're blessed for sure. Check us out. We drop um, every Tuesday. So be sure to check it out. You know, you can subscribe. You can follow us on social media at Cut To It. Um, but for sure, man, we love the support. Love the support of you brothers, though, man. Seriously, I, 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 I'm not... I'm not blowing smoke, man. I, I I regularly listen. I love what y'all do. I love the niche that y'all have. I love y'all for just being y'all, right? And just like I said, you know, trap nerds, man. That's just that that resonates with me. Like, man, I'm I grew up in the hood. I grew up in a single parent home. It was just me and my mom and uh, my cousin and my grandma and my aunts. And so that's just how I was raised. But because of that, it was like you know, my grandma let me play with everybody because of where we live. So wasn't nothing else to do. So I started getting into comic books and started getting into movies and that was always my escape, man. So, and I've, I've always been like that. Even, even now, like it's always like, man, superhero movies and even, it just takes me back there. So man, y'all, oh, yeah. y'all got a great niche and I love it, man. I mean, we appreciate the love, bro. Like I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. we see it all the time, bro. And we appreciate it, bro. Like, I can't oh, even say nothing. I'm just gonna give you the. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you. The, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> big appreciate facts, it, big bro. facts, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Salute. But we reached the end to another incredible interview. Uh, you guys, make sure y'all go listen to the Cut to a Podcast and check 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 them out, bro. The Cut to a Podcast sure. is killing it. Black Effect family in the house, bro. Uh, we're the Trap Nurse Podcast. We are out.